1. What is a keto diet? The keto diet is a very low-carb and higher-fat diet. It's similar in many ways to other low-carb diets. While you eat far fewer carbohydrates on a keto diet, you maintain moderate levels of protein intake and may increase your intake of fat. The reduction in carb intake puts your body in a metabolic state called ketosis, where fat, from your diet and from your body, is burned for energy. You can quickly learn more about the basic ideas behind the keto diet in this video course. What keto means ketosis The keto in a ketogenic diet comes from the fact that it allows the body to produce small fuel molecules called ketones. 5. This is an alternative fuel source for the body, used when blood sugar glucose is in short supply. When you eat very few carbs or very few calories, the liver produces ketones from fat. These ketones then serve as a fuel source throughout the body, especially for the brain. Point 6. The brain is a hungry organ that consumes lots of energy every day, and it can't run on fat directly. It can only run on glucose, or ketones. Point 7. On a ketogenic diet, your entire body switches its fuel supply to run mostly on fat, burning fat 24-7. When insulin levels become very low, fat burning can increase dramatically. It becomes easier to access your fat stores to burn them off. Point 8 This is great if you're trying to lose weight, but there can also be other, less obvious benefits. Such as less hunger and a steady supply of energy, without the sugar peaks and valleys we can get from high-carb meals. This may help keep you alert and focused. Point 9 When the body produces ketones, it enters a metabolic state called ketosis. The fastest way to get there is by fasting, not eating anything, but nobody can consistently fast forever. Point one zero. A keto diet, on the other hand, also results in ketosis and can be eaten indefinitely. It has many of the benefits of fasting, including weight loss, without having to fast long term. Who should not do a ketogenic diet? There are controversies and myths about a keto diet, but for most people it appears to be very safe. Point one two. However, three groups often require special consideration. Do you take medication for diabetes, e.g. insulin? Do you take medication for high blood pressure? Do you breastfeed? For more details about pros and cons in different situations, check out our full guide, Is a Keto Diet Right For You? Are you a doctor or do you need your doctor to help you with medications on a keto diet? Have a look at our low carb for doctors guide. 2. What to eat on a keto diet Here are typical foods to enjoy on a ketogenic diet. The numbers are net carbs, i.e. digestible carbs, per 100 grams. 13 to remain in ketosis, lower is generally better. What's the most important thing to do to reach ketosis? Avoid eating too many carbs. You'll likely need to keep carb intake under 50 grams per day of net carbs. Ideally below 20 grams. 14 The fewer carbs, the more effective it appears to be for reaching ketosis, losing weight, or improving type 2 diabetes. 15. Counting carbs can be helpful at first. But if you stick to our recommended foods and recipes you can stay keto even without counting. Try to avoid here's what you should avoid on a keto diet, foods containing a lot of carbs, both the sugary and the starchy kind. This includes starchy foods like bread, pasta, rice, and potatoes. These foods are very high in carbs. Key numbers are grams of net carbs per 100 grams, unless otherwise noted. 0.16. Also avoid ultra-processed foods and instead follow our whole foods keto diet advice. You should also avoid low-fat diet products. A keto diet should be moderately high in protein and will probably be higher in fat. Since fat provides the energy that you are no longer getting from carbohydrate. Low-fat products usually provide too many carbs and not enough fuel from protein and fat. 17. 